Hello and welcome to Munchwinkel, a new map in Farming Simulator 22. And I thought I'd like to do just an experimental little episode, just to show off the map a little bit and show what's here. Now, there's not much here on the farm. There's only this house here and this shed and sort of base game stuff. I'll show you what we start off with, which is just in here. Base game stuff. We've got a, a harvester here. We've got the, yeah, the Massey Focus and MF3670, which is, you know, all base game sort of stuff. Now we're in Farm Manager and we started with one and a half million and I've already bought some land which is this field here, 18, and this, um, yeah, it's, well, seven, to, whatever it's called, and this one here which is, you know, where our farm is. So the first order of business is to see what's on here and that looks to me like, is that potatoes? Yes, potatoes. Okay, fine. So they're growing. So anyway, it's such an odd shaped field. <laughs> so I'd like to see what happens under sort of course play with this field. So we'll we'll do that later. But our first thing today is to see if any if we have any contracts. Now I don't normally do contracts, but they're a good way of seeing the map. So let's go into here and see if we can find something. Harvesting. Harvesting what? Canola. Now, I didn't really want to do canola. I would like to do um, root crops because um, the... Is it the premium or the... What's the expansion called? I can't remember. The, but when the, the one with the vegetables. We have that installed and we have carrots growing here and red beet down here. And I'd like to do a contract uh, with carrots or, or vegetables of some kind. So we'll wait for that. So first thing to do today is absolutely nothing because I would like to... Get to get to harvesting the potatoes and maybe doing a contract for vegetables. So I'll see you in September. All right. Now, did you know that Mönchwinkel means monk's corner? And uh, I've just looked that up actually. Um, so, remove foliage, but I can't. I couldn't help but notice it's raining. Uh, while it's raining, let's just have another look for our contracts and see if there's anything we can do. Yes, there's a few of harvesting parsnips so I'm not sure if we can have a harvester I can't harvest now because it's raining but just uh, for later on I'm going to go to a, 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 a sort of mod pack that I've got downloaded which is the lizard colossus pack now there's this colossus root harvester here which um, will harvest potatoes and yes and parsnips I think yes it will <laughs> so what I'm going to do once it stopped raining, is hire this. Okay, it stopped raining and we're ready to go with our completely unrealistic harvester. <laughs> now, we're in the shop, which the shop is all the way up here, which doesn't look that far because we're down here, uh, just down here, but um, it's a 4x map, so distance is a bit further than you think. So, okay, all right, let's go and pop into this thing. Uh, this is a pretty fast machine, so it shouldn't take us long to get back, but uh, it's a new map, so I don't know the way. I don't even know the way out of the shop at the moment. All right then, let's get back to the let's get back to the farm. I got a bit lost but uh, you know it's my first time on the map so <laughs> so our, our field oh it's the one on the right here I was thinking it was on the left for some reason anyway so this is the field and I think it said remove foliage yeah remove foliage so this shouldn't take long because this harvester if I can just what do I do I open it up and the secret is in the header um, if I can just unfold it <laughs> and off we go and this I mean I don't probably I probably don't even need a time-lapse because this is such a you know 
has such a big span I don't really need to speed it up at all I'll be done in a flash but yeah I wanted to do things like quite quickly because you know I'm only doing one episode and I wanted to see a bit of the map so I didn't want to spend the whole map episode harvesting potatoes just you know a little bit of the, <laughs> a little bit of the episode but um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the potatoes once we've finished I mean there are there are some productions on the map like uh, potato chips or something I'm not sure but anyway Okay, there's some bits that I couldn't get to. I don't know why, but uh, we'll just do what we can and then move on, you know. Because I have this harvester, not just for the potatoes, but for parsnip contracts, so we can go elsewhere and see a bit more of the, uh, a bit more of the map. Now, there's something a bit odd about this field, and I will explain all in a minute, but let's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finish harvesting. Yeah, the price per hectares on this on this particular field is quite high. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'll just finished harvesting. <laughs> Yeah, and this was a problem bit over here. I couldn't, I couldn't harvest this for some reason. Let's see if I can do it now. Yeah, seems to be all right. Yeah. And this bit down here. No, it doesn't want to be harvested. I don't know why. Yeah, I've done the best I can, but it just doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to harvest down there, so that's all fine. So, right, what can we do with the potatoes? Because I'd like to have a production for potatoes, and I don't know exactly the production is on the map. So let's just see if we can find something. Well, there's two productions. There's so many productions on this map. I mean, I've just got the productions on at the moment. If I flash them on and off, you'll see there's like, oh, I don't know, about 25 of them or something. There's all sorts of things, including like the ones for wood. But the ones I want at the moment are down here. The soup factory. Let's go to the soup factory and buy it. We're, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So I'm just going to buy everything. Yeah, the soup factory, 135,000. We have the money. That's fine. And I would like to also buy the potato processing plant, which is down here. So I'll just skip to that as well and find where I can... Where do I buy this? Just here. It doesn't matter how much it is, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, fine. OK. All right, let's find our way to, first of all, the soup factory. Uh, where are we? We're just up here somewhere. So... We go down this road here. Right, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna struggle my way down here and um, I'll probably get lost. So I think I'm here at the, I think this is a soup factory. I'm not entirely sure how to get in there. Oh, in here, okay. Hmm. 
Right then, so this is, yeah, this is zoop zoop zoop. So if I can just put this out and uh, probably get rid of all the potatoes I've got here, I think. <laughs> all gone and so we have a production I don't know actually if you start with any other productions you don't you don't start with any because we bought these two so potato soup we'll switch everything else off but um, potato chips we don't actually need this production but hey ho there we go uh, so the next thing to do is to do a is to get out of the, get out of the trees a little bit <laughs> and do a um, a contract for somebody because there was a contract for parsnips two contracts and I'd like to see where those are and one of them is gone actually uh, the only one is here the parsnips in field 43 I don't know where that is but I'm going to accept the contract and we have our own equipment we can take there but I'm going to need a different header this header here which I'm going to have again at 50 meters unrealistic and yeah crop guides on red or yellow whatever um and i'm going to lease this okay so um the field 43 we need to go to field 43 and i don't know where that is so let's just have a quick look for that it's just down here look and um, i've actually had to well i was a bit lazy and i reset everything to the shop because i needed to pick up the new new header so I'm gonna to have to drive it all the way down here. <laughs> so, all right, let's let's uh, let's get things attached. And once again, <laughs> Let's see if we can make our way to field 43. Here at last, it's just it's just on our right hand side here, there's an entrance here. Now I forgot to show you like an anomaly on um, our fields. So this field here that we've bought, you can see down here, I don't think I've, I don't think I've said this, it's 56,000 per hectare, it's 316,000 to buy and this field here is 61,000 per hectare, 473,000 to buy. But there's three fields here this field here, 16, 15 rather, is only 11,000 per hectare and field 15 just here is only 10,000 per hectare. And this one here, 14, or is it 13, I'm not, I'm not sure, is 10,000 to buy. So in my reckoning, you can buy these three fields here for 110,000 and you will get much more land or you get a bit more land than buying this field here, 19, for 473,000 and you'll pay much less money. So that's the that's the anomaly. But anyway, uh, <laughs> right. let's get this sorted out again. And we should be able to harvest this. We can harvest this field. And I don't this, think this is a very big field, so it shouldn't take us very long. Now, the funny thing about doing this map is that Normally when I do time lapses, it's for this kind of stuff, harvesting. But all my time lapses in this episode, I think are gonna be traveling because it takes a long time. Because it's a 4X map, traveling takes a long time. I mean, if you just got like a 30 mile per hour 
tractor, the Massey Ferguson we've got, for example, is going to take a long time to get from you know A to B or from north to south or whatever. So you need, I don't know, you need a, a truck or something with a with a, 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 a low loader and put everything on there to get round the map more quickly. Because I, I did a series on, I think it, it was called the French Plain or the French Plains. I did a whole series on that map and it turned out to be a bit of a pain in the end because it was such a big map and it took such a long time to get anywhere. It took me ages and ages to do each episode. Well, if I do this right, oh, I just missed two bits. Oh, how frustrating. Right then, so this is the first part of the, yeah, the first part of the, co the contract. And here's the second part. Take the, t harvest the past in field 43 and take the product to Agar Agravis. Agravis. Okay, fine. I wonder where that is. I think it must be this one here. Uh, okay, fine. So we've got a bit more travelling to do because we're all the way down... Where are we now? 43, down here, and we have to get all the way up here. OK, I will see you when I get there. Gravis and uh, oh the thing is just over there how do I get in <laughs> I'm not sure how I get in but this is all stuff you learn isn't it once you get onto a map particularly when it's a 4x map you know there's a lot to learn and uh, it's like going to a you know a new supermarket or something you know everything is there but you're not entirely sure where it is <laughs> so <laughs> that's how I think about it okay now there might be some parsnips left over, but this thing chucks them out so fast. Can I put this in here? This is where it's supposed to go, I think. Yeah, this is where it's supposed to go. Yeah, I don't think there'll be any left for us. Yeah, we got two, three thousand, about three thousand harvest income, so there wasn't much left for us. Now, I've done all this stuff about, you know, with this unrealistic thing. I would like to do some realistic farming now because, um, you know, this is a farming simulator, not unrealistic farming simulator. So I think I'll send everything that's rented back, all this stuff. And what is it? It's the 1st. Now, I will we'll go back to the farm. And I had to drive the tractor out of the... <laughs> Yeah, out of the shed to actually get out of it, otherwise I'd be stuck in there. Now I need to see if we've got a cultivator. I would like to do some cultivating on that potato field. Okay, a four metre cultivator. Now I would like to I'd like to have something a bit bigger than that. I'll just see what's available. Well, I'm gonna go for this one because it's a disc harrow which is kinder to the soil and it is 10.5 meters but we will need I'm gonna buy it actually yeah I'm gonna buy it but we will also need a 300 horsepower tractor and we've got some money and I would like to buy a second tractor because one tractor particularly when it's this one I mean this is nothing, nothing wrong with this tractor it's 170 horsepower but we'll need they're quite big fields on this map you know and we would need some more horsepower so I'm gonna go I would like to buy a John Deere 6R which is one of my favorite tractors so let's see if I can find that <laughs> let's find that yeah John Deere 6R 
Um, we've got, we'll have 300 horsepower in it. And I think this is all we need. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to buy this. Like I said before, we're here for a good time, <laughs> not a long time. And this will do the job really well. So I've done enough time lapses of travelling, I will just see you back when I get back to the farm. Well, that's the guy's two headlands done, and I'm not entirely sure what he's doing now, but uh, I'm going to jump out because one observation for me about this map is that there's no animals here. Nothing. No animals on the map whatsoever. So if I was playing on this map permanently, I would put animals down probably somewhere on this field near to, like, where the guy is now, actually. Um, around about here because it's near to the farm. I, I like to have the animals near to the farm. Uh, that's our little uh, farm in there. So I'll probably section this bit off to have the animals. But if you want to have them in the satellite location, there's two areas. Um, there's one, I think it's this area here, just above field seven. Um, if I can try and go to it. Yeah, a flat sort of placeable area here. And uh, if I can just buy this, yeah, field eight. So I'm going to buy it because I would like to see 93,000. There's nothing here. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to see how easy it is to put down like a production or an animal thing or whatever. Um, yeah, let's go to animals and just find, you know, a cow shed, uh, anything. This one here, this is fine. So very very flat as you can see this is a very flat it's a very flat map actually but this placeable area is very flat and you could put anything you like here I mean there's so many productions on the map that you probably don't need to put down any more productions but you might need to put down like cows over here sheep over here and chickens over here and uh, that would be your animals but I, I personally I do like to have them on the farm and there are there is another flat area here I think it's um, yeah, just here, this one here, 88. That's another flat area, which is slightly bigger. So there's options. If you want to like have animals, you can put them on one of these places, or like I say, just put them down at the farm. Let's see, let's just see how this guy's doing. And he's probably going back up, up and down now <laughs> on this tiny little bit. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to see what he does next. Yeah, actually, you can see it, can't you, in the, just in here, actually in here, you can see he's going to be going up and down. That's all fine. So, all right, it's the end of the day, and thank you for watching. This has just been like an experimental episode to see the, see the map, and my observation, my major observation, it's just a really big map to get around because it's a 4x map and that's one reason why it just puts me off a little bit like I said I've done a, a series on on the French plane that was a 4x map and that was a bit painful in the end to get around it but anyway anything you like it here because all the productions are here you don't need to put down any of your, your own productions they're all here and anyway I hope you enjoy the map and I hope you hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time bye for now please like please subscribe bye for now